everybody. Thanking God for another opportunity on a Wednesday night. What a blessing. And uh, it's about 6.59, so we'll give them a couple of moments to come on with us, all those that would like to tune in tonight. God bless you, and I'm thanking God, and I'm praising him for this opportunity to share. As uh, most of you know, uh, what I've been through in the last two months, that uh, I just got to say, come on and shout glory. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on and shout thank you, Jesus. What a blessing. Hallelujah. I was saying to some people, uh, I don't care what's under the Christmas tree because I already got the gift of life. Amen. What a blessing to be alive, to be able to uh, continue with my wife and my children, my grandchildren, and all of New Life Church of Faith. Hey, God is good. And uh, just what I love to do is share the good news of the gospel. And so the Lord has uh, kept me, and he's watched over me, and uh, I, I can't thank him enough. I can't praise him enough. And so let's have a little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, again, I thank you for this opportunity to come, uh, oh, Father, over uh, the airways through New Life Church of Faith uh, webpage and all those that would be, uh, Lord, on tonight. Bless them. Everyone, God, tonight, we welcome the Holy Spirit that you will come and you are the master teacher. And I am your servant and I am yielding and I am willing and I'm ready uh, to say whatever it is you would have me to say and just how to say it. Amen. So, Father, I thank you and I praise you for everyone tonight. And we just now, Father, are just going to uh, let you have your way. Hallelujah. And we give you the praise and the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, somebody shout glory. Hey, come on, shout hallelujah. Hey, come on, shout thank you, Jesus. Come on, throw your head back and shout ooh. Hallelujah. That's when it gets too good for words. And so again, God bless you tonight. And uh, I'm just excited again for this opportunity. Thank God tonight uh, for my wife, my children and grandchildren, all of you, New Life Church of Faith and whoever else may be uh, tuned in tonight. Thanking God, praising him. You know, hallelujah. You know what the old folks say. I've learned to trust in Jesus, huh? I've learned him. So through this whole pandemic, I don't have any doubt that we uh, have got closer to God. Amen. And I know that prayer has been lifted up uh, all around this great America and around the world because of the trial that we have went through this year. And so we're uh, thanking God tonight of uh, the end of 2020. And I don't know about you, but I got faith that 21, amen, is going to be a great year. That God is going to bless us uh, and he's going to watch over us like he's done in 2020. How many can tell the story? How I made it over, huh? Amen. When you look back over your life and you wonder how I made it over, go ahead and say, okay, I know how I made it over. It's the Lord. It's been the Lord all along. Am I right? Amen. So God is good. And we're leading up uh, to uh, Christmas, uh, just a couple days away. With this being December the 23rd, uh, we are close. Uh, and I don't 
a better to describe uh, Christmas and, and what really the true authentic reason for Christmas uh, is about a miracle. A miracle that happened to all of humanity. Really uh, pray tonight uh, and as you go into your own personal prayer, you will uh, seek God for revelation about miracles, huh? And uh, how that miracles, amen, are still happening. At a miracle right now. They've given me a new name, Pastor uh, Miracle Miller, huh? Amen. And I'm 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 glad uh, that I'm a miracle tonight uh, to be on the respirator for 15 days. Amen. And God, hey, He performed a miracle. What did He do? He woke me up. Hey, glory to God. I had no comprehension of my even uh, still being in the earth. For 15 days. They put me in a, a coma. Amen. And they paralyzed me. And move. And so I'm here tonight. As a, a live and in living color. Come on now. You heard what I just said. Amen. Living color. You, you can see it. And this is why uh, I really want us to take our time tonight. To really think about miracles. Amen. This is what has really been in my spirit. Uh, since the Lord has woke me up, and uh, again, I've been telling people, I've been, was, you know, sharing while I was even in the hospital after he woke me up. Amen. And so I'm getting stronger in my body, uh, yet not fully recovered yet, but I'm very much on my way. And I want to thank God, first of all, his communion of the Holy Spirit. Hey, everybody on the line, you never alone. He said, I'll never leave you. And my wife wasn't able to amen, into the hospital until after they woke me up. So, you know, technically, uh, I was by myself uh, beside the nurses and the doctors. And I want to just celebrate them because they are angels. They are the extent. What they do with medicine, amen, is so wonderful that they know how to regulate all those machines. They know how to dispense uh, the right amount of medicine and all that goes with that. I want to thank God for the housekeepers and, and for the food service and the ministry. machines. All of that was the extension of God and I, all of their services. And so I'm just want to praise to God. Amen all to keep praying for nurses and doctors because it's still very, very challenging as this pandemic continues and they are still line trying to save lives. Let's pray for them. Amen. Let's lift them up. Amen. And if you can encourage a nurse, a doctor, or anybody on the front lines, all essential workers, truck drivers and, and police and fire and you know, Amazon, some of y'all waiting on the Amazon packages because, you know, and those are the people, that stuff just don't show up. It's a, it's a, a praise God, uh, it's a FedEx mail, the mail. So I'm just, you know, excited tonight. Granted, God bless you, Margaret Douglas. God bless you, uh, Evangelist. And Willis, everybody, amen, that's on the line tonight. I'm thanking God for you, everybody, amen, that's tuned in. And so I want to focus time if I, uh, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, uh, calm myself down, amen. I got, you know, tons of messages in my head, amen, since the Lord woke me up. But since we are, man, that's Christ with us. Huh? That's God with us. us. To understand that, and you don't need me to tell you when they say, do you have the Christmas? Huh? Amen. Christmas is about God entering the earth and these words that are inadequate, but magical. It's a magical time. It's unexplainable, this uh, presence of heaven. 
that comes to the earth at this time of the year. We know there's so many debaters about, well, he wasn't born on the 25th. I don't care if we don't have the right date. It's obvious that God honors this date because it causes the presence of God in the earth at this time of the year. It's, it's magical. That's not, you know, a, a, a adequate word. I'm going to keep saying it, but it's the best I have to somehow describe a miracle. Amen. I want somebody tonight to really begin to believe in miracles. I don't know how you cannot believe in miracles if you believe in Jesus. I mean, for real. Do you really believe that Jesus Christ uh, was born of a virgin? Do you really believe that Christ uh, was, uh, you know, conceived by the Holy Ghost? That's why he says he is the only begotten son of God. Amen. I want you to more and more and more meditate on miracles and then uh, have an expectation of miracles happening even in your life. Don't allow the Bible to be written just for all those that had the experience of miracles and have left you and I out at all. God hasn't left us out. He let us know that miracles are <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> available, but what's happening is that in many cases, we have somehow allowed an unbelief uh, to you know, convince us that that was for those that lived in the time of Jesus. Come on, Minister Sherry. Uh, come on, Pastor Rodney Wade. Come on. This is a time to rediscover miracles. Amen. This is a time for us to believe it's possible. Because he said it. Nothing's impossible with him that believe. Come on, let's focus on this virgin birth. Let's think about it as much as you can with your logic and your intellect. Wrap your mind around this event. A woman got pregnant without the aid of a man. There's no other religious organization that has that testimony. Nobody has that as a part of their testimony. Born of God. Amen. So I'm a thank Amen. I want to thank God tonight uh, for me. Come on, everybody. Say, I believe in miracles. Come on here, son, prophet Everett Miller. I believe in, say it, I believe in miracles. Come on here. Nothing's impossible. What is Christmas all about? And I told First Lady uh, Beverly Miller, I said, I don't like all of this distraction that happens at Christmas. I hope your children that still believe in Santa Claus not listening uh, to the message and to the teaching because that's a distraction. Come on. Uh, the, uh, the certain uh, groups in America, African Americans that have this Kwanzaa, you know, thing to take away from this event by us celebrating other events. Good things, put them in June or March. Leave December. Come on here, missionary uh, Deborah Smith, Elder Ron Smith. Listen. You, you got to understand we have allowed our own intellect to cripple us about miracles. We have allowed the uh, inability to wrap our mind around it. Just because you don't comprehend it, it don't mean that it's not true. It only means you don't have uh, the ability to believe God for what he's done. It's proof. You can have a miracle. You can be beneficiary. That means uh, doctors have done all they can do. Uh, uh, the job has let you go. Uh, your bills are past due. Uh, your marriage is in trouble. Your children are cutting up. Uh, you got issues even in your own church. Any pastor that's dealing with issues even in pastoring. God has made available for him to come on board when you do all you can do. Now, let me pause because a lot of us, come on here, amen, a lot of us, 
will try to make God work a miracle because we too lazy to do our part. Oh, I told y'all, I ain't told you, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm back. Amen. I'm like the late John Lewis. I want to get in some good trouble. Up the bushes. I want to cause people to have to deal with it. Huh? Amen. He said, you got to pray and fast. Hello? In order for these things to come out. Amen. You got to turn down McDonald's and Burger King. You got to turn off Facebook and Twitter and Twitter and whatever else. That You know, you, you, you can't just get a miracle because you too lazy to pray. You too lazy to fast. You, 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 you are serving the God of your belly. No. You've got to know that when you have exhausted. Come on now. When you've exhausted everything that is natural and you still have. That's when miracles happen. See, it wasn't nothing that man could do to save himself. God sent his son. Hey, and God uh, himself got in Mary's body. Come on here. Amen. And God came and rescued us with what? A miracle. Miracles. Come on here, Sister Camilla. Miracles are available when there is no natural things that can be done. Y'all get this. You don't just get a miracle when you can get up and go apply for a job. The job ain't going to just, you know, show up. You got to go knock on some doors. Faith without works is dead. I mean, you got to believe. Hey, after you do everything that you are capable and able to do, that's when miracles happen. Amen. And so we're leading up uh, to the 25th of December. And it's worldwide. Y'all just check it out. This, this celebration is worldwide. All around the world celebrate December the 25th. This is the only one I know that split time. A.D. to B.C. This birth, oh my God, it just shatters everything else that had ever been done. And nobody can take away uh, as much as they try to, you know, give us a sidebar. Don't worry about what's under the tree. If you don't get what you're looking for on the 25th, if you know Jesus, be blessed. You already got better than a diamond ring. You got already better than a car or a house or some, you know, name brand Gucci or Moochie or whatever they want to call it. I don't need my name on some clothes. Matter of fact, they got Tommy, but it's Hill. Tommy Miller, huh? Amen. So they can buy a monster. They got Michael Jordan. That man is the the smartest businessman I know selling you old tennis shoes and calling them new and you bought them 20 years ago for 70 80 dollars and you buy the same tennis shoe now cost you three or four hundred come on here sister Clark hey what's happening is most of us are not uh, using our own God-given right to miracles Given our own right to have extraordinary things happen. Huh? Come on here, Pastor Wade. You a miracle man. Come on here. How far have God... Huh? Amen. From the living room. Elder Wade was in the living room. Pastor Wade was in the living room. And now we have a strip mall. Amen. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't just happened. It, it took faith. It took believing God. That God would do something extraordinary. Amen. And so tonight, I need to slow my roll. I mean, hey, uh, Sister Jewel, I, I need to just give y'all this tonight because God is still performing miracles. And if you go tonight, it's available to you. Let's not get caught up. In the hustle and the bustle. You know, with the corona, you need to be still anyway. Huh? You, you need to sit down. God set the whole world down and called a time out. Amen. So if you can see, amen, I, I'm trying to keep it going. But I'm, tonight is your night. Oh, I would somebody claim tonight a miracle for yourself. And you heard what I said earlier. You got to do your part. But if you said, I've exhausted everything the Bible said to do, I need a miracle. Amen. And God is ready to perform it. Okay. I need you to look at John uh, 3 
in your Bible, St. John 3 and, and 1. Amen. 3 and 1, it says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these, what? Miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus, demonstrate many of us tonight need God to demonstrate that he's with us. Huh? The Bible says the unbeliever seeketh for a sign. Come on, somebody. Say, God, give me a, a, a miracle. God, let me experience a miracle. Not for me, but Lord, that others might believe that Jesus is the Christ. He's the Son of God, Sister D.D. D. Davis. He is the, the, the bright in the morning star. He is the Messiah. He's the Savior of the world. John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Come on, shout glory. Hey, come on, shout hallelujah. We got something to say thank you, Jesus, about tonight. Come on, Dr. Bones. Amen. Miracles are available right now. Amen. All God needs is for somebody to believe in miracles, uh, maybe for the first time. Amen. Because it's not logical. Uh-uh. I got a definition I wrote down. It said miracles, it is not uh, applicable by natural or scientific laws. Huh? Amen. It says, and it is considered to be the work of well, you know, that's that's a nice, you know, word agency, but it, it's God. When it's divine, hallelujah, when it's divine, it's God, some of his glory. Come on tonight, uh, uh, Elder Odoms, and, 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 and uh, praise God, Psalmstress uh, Kelly Odoms, come on here tonight. Little praise, hallelujah. Come on tonight, Pastor Robert Miller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. Cut yourself short. Don't deny yourself. Available when you have exhausted everything. God will do a miracle for you. Amen. And so look what it says. And it says, uh, Jesus answered and said, this is John 3 and 3. Jesus said unto him, verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Hmm? Come on. It's very, very, except a man of water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit, mar don't don't allow your your old, you know, come on here. Huh? Amen. Don't allow your your intellect to your mind and your intellect out of the game. When you get born again, <coughs> it's not the 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 uh, the natural. It's spiritual. It means you on a different because it's not by power, by might, but it's by the spirit. Hey, and look, it's in your Bible, and it says that when this event happened, Amen, about Jesus being born over here in Matthew's one. In rivers of living water. Come on. Come on here, brother. Amen. Yes. Because you can't comprehend it. Huh? You, 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 you too. <coughs> I'm going to keep saying it. Intellectual is connected to doubt and unbelief. You cannot 
intellectually make it make sense, you don't believe it. It don't make it not true. It only makes it true that you don't believe it. Amen. And so here it's, it's very clear Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make a public example of uh, a public example was minded to put her away privately. And while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of uh, the Holy Ghost. Hey, hallelujah. It's by the Spirit. You get miracles only by the Spirit, Sister Douglas. It is not intellectual. Get your head out of the game. Quit trying to analyze God. I'm, I'm so thankful to God because God is so clear on his position. Y'all read it. He said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts thoughts as far as from the earth. In other words, don't try to God intellectually. Trust God by faith. Why I love Christmas. Christmas is all about a miracle. It was all about the Holy Spirit that overshadowed Mary. Hey, and she conceived the Son of God. Amen. Scientists, all you that are scientists and medical people, a baby born to a woman has a different bloodline than the mother. And Mary, and back to Mary, was tainted by the blood of Adam. And Jesus wouldn't have been pure because he would have also been contaminated by Adam's blood. But he had his own blood supply. Hey, and it was, and that's why we always sing it. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Hey, come on, y'all. It's not the blood of Mary. And it wasn't uh, the blood of Adam. It was the blood of Jesus, which was totally on a separate bloodline. And Mary, surrogate. We have surrogates. I need to, you know, just keep saying it. She was the first surrogate, uh, surrogate that was recorded because she was an incubator. And well favored, as the Bible says. Hail Mary, thy favored among women. Huh? Amen. But let's not, let's not lose the focus. I don't want to take nothing away from Jesus. I don't want to hurt my Catholic brothers and sisters, but it's not about Mary. It's hell, Jesus. You're my king. Hey, huh? You wonderful that you are. Come on, I can't sing it, but if I had a praise team tonight, they could sing it. Amen. This is the truth. It's all about Jesus. Christmas is all about Jesus. You take two fish and five uh, 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 Two fish and five loaves of bread. I don't know which way I got it maybe backwards. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, he fed over 5,000. Not including women and children, just the men. With two fish and five loaves of bread. That was a miracle. You don't take no two fish and five loaves of bread and get a miracle. Uh, uh, you know, unless God breathe on it. Hey, y'all remember you read the Bible and Jesus lifted it up and said, Father, bless it. That's why you and I are the blessed. Amen. We can get a miracle if we need one. Jesus needed a miracle that day. Them disciples said, send these whole home. You know, we can't feed them. Jesus said, set them down. You ought to give God something to work with. Amen. Because God is never limited by uh, natural, you know, uh, restrictions. He goes into another level through the Holy Ghost, and he'll take two fish. Come on here, Sister Pam. Take two fish and five loaves of to two. Y'all know it is not natural. Them, them Hebrew boys, that was a miracle. They went into a fiery furnace, heated up seven times, and they didn't uh, burn up. Their clothes didn't burn up. The hair wasn't singed. And God just show out God. When they came out, they smoke. You and I just go sit around. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, just like the wood. You say, man, you barbecue. You smell just like the charcoal. And the Bible show out God. And he said, I ain't going to let you boys smell like smoke. That's a miracle. He's showing us that when it's necessary.
necessary, he will perform a miracle in your life. Amen. Come on in, Sister Chris. The hope. Hey, it's a fact that a lot of people are looking for miracles and yet they have not included what is the natural, I mean, not natural, the most important ingredient in getting a miracle is to believe in the work of the Holy Spirit. It's the work of the Holy Ghost. It's when the Spirit of the Lord hovered over the water and God said, hey, come on here, let there be light. And it was the work of the Holy Spirit that produced the light. Amen. It was the Holy Spirit that told the water, back up. Hey, trillions of gallons of water to the show line. Don't cross over. That's the Holy Ghost. Hold that water, huh? You ever thought about it? How is it that the water just stay right there? How was it that when uh, Jesus, uh, not Jesus, but Moses, uh, stretched forth the rod and the water, to show out God what he do he dried up an ocean bottom y'all know y'all know that's a miracle you get a little rain and your feet get muddy soon as you step on the ground and God dried up a whole ocean floor it said it they crossed over land yeah God can heal at the level of a miracle God can pay your bills well you don't even understand how they got paid if you've done all you can do, can we pray for all the families that are now paying their bills? Come on, let's say, Lord, all those that have done all they know to do, give them a miracle tonight. Father, all of those that are in the hospital, on ventilators, Lord, tonight, they may be just like old Pastor Miracle Miller. They need a miracle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, tonight, eh, bring little Junior home. He won't even know how he got home. Little Margot, bring him home. Glory to God. Eh, man may not even know how, but God, you can do anything. Come on, somebody. Say, God, you can do anything. God, you are supreme. Eh, there is no limits in God. There's no impossibilities in God. And then this is great. He said, and nothing's impossible with all of us on the line tonight that will believe amen so this birth amen and it says and and she uh let's see but while he thought on these things behold the angel of the lord appeared unto him in the dream i'm in matthews uh, 1 and 20 and but while he thought on these things behold uh the angel of the lord appeared unto him in a dream saying joseph thy son of david fear not to take unto thee mary thy wife come on for that which is conceived in her is of the holy ghost it's the spirit somebody say tonight holy ghost have your way have your way somebody need a miracle show your mighty power tonight go into the intensive care units go and drag hey go and drag them out tonight bring them out of dark places they take the taste Take the addiction, take the nicotine, take the, the, the heroin, the cocaine, take the gambling, take the sexual abusing of themselves. Those that are bound by sexual sins, Holy Spirit, you can break it tonight. Come on tonight. Everybody on the line tonight. Hey, come on, say, I believe in miracles. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. Because he said it, I read what after the holy ghost come on you ye shall have power hey the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy y'all hear you got power tonight say stir it up stir it up amen and then the bible says and she shall bring forth a son and i shall call his name jesus and for he shall save his people from their sins oh that's good news Oh, the devil lost the fight. The Bible said Jesus uh, triumphed before the whole world and made a shame of him. He came out of the grave with all power. Amen. With the keys of hell and death. Amen. And so that's what Jesus came for. He didn't just come so we can speak in tongues and dance around all of us Pentecostal people. He didn't do that just for that. He didn't do it just so you could go to church and that you could, you know, claim once saved, always saved. No, he came to save us from our sins. He didn't come to save us so we could just go to heaven. 
But we need to see the demonstration of the power of God right now. We need to see the demonstration. <laughs> Glory to God. My computer froze and I had to go back and reset it all up again. So I hope there's still some folks still on here, haven't given up. Just got a few minutes left. Let's see what time it is. It's 7.43. So we got about 16, 17 minutes left. And uh, I was just teaching uh, about uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I, I want you to really check it out. That the Holy Ghost is the one that can give you the gift of miracles. Amen. Come on. Look at this. It says, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. Look at this. This is 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, and uh, uh, 6th verse. Amen. And then it said what? Then there are diversities of operations, but it is the same, same God which worketh all in all. Hallelujah. Look at number 8. It says, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. Come on. Uh, to another faith. By the same Spirit, that Spirit is the Holy Ghost. It's, you get it from the Holy Ghost to another, the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Come on, now, we're hitting the hot spot. Number 10, to another, the working of miracles. The Holy Ghost is the one that can cause you to work miracles. Shout glory to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, uh, the interpretation of tongues. But all these work up that one and the self-same spirit. Come on, y'all. Hey, whenever these uh, gifts are in operation, it was brought to you and I by the administrator, the Holy Ghost. Come on, put your hand on your head. Say, that Allah about shot. Hey, come on, whatever you want to say, but I'm excited. Amen. And I'm, I'm asking God tonight, touch your belly. Holy Ghost, stir it up. Manifest. Cause the gifts, whatever that might be. Now be, be, be really smart here. You can't tell the Holy Ghost, give me healing. Give me uh, miracles or give me faith. <coughs> Amen. He is the administrator. So whatever gift that the Holy Spirit has administered to you, you want God to manifest that gift. You want to begin to pray. You want to begin to fast. You want to begin to say, Lord, oh, tonight, I don't want to just live to die to go to heaven, but I want to be used by the Holy Ghost before I leave here. I want to be one that could uh, perform miracles. Amen. I, I want the gift you've given me. If it's the gift of faith that I can move mountains, I want that gift to uh, manifest the gift of miracles and healings and prophecy and the word of knowledge, whatever, hallelujah, that, you know, God wants to do uh, through you. Amen. You don't want to just sit there on the pine, sit there on the pew, sit there in a church chair. And just watch God use everybody else. I just told you that he's pouring out the spirit on everybody. That means you. Did he save you? Yes. You said, I know I'm saved. Then what are your gifts? What is the gift? Is it one gift that you can claim hold of tonight? Don't be offended. Don't, don't let the devil make you think. You know, oh, he's signifying and he's talking about and trying to condemn people. No. We need you. The body of Christ needs you to manifest your gift. But you got to first believe that you have been given a gift. Amen. You, you got to first believe in the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You, you got to believe. You got to believe. <coughs> Amen. What's happening is that most of us are just sitting there. Christmas is the proof of miracles. The Holy Spirit wasn't just given to us to beam us up one day. It said it. If that same Spirit that lives in Jesus lives in you, he shall quicken 
your mortal body, but you may not be ready to go for the next 30, 40, 50 years. What are you going to do while you're waiting? You are not just to be waiting. You are to absolutely be involved with kingdom business. When you say, Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, that is so God can use you. Please don't allow the fivefold ministry to tell you that if you're not in the apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, pastor, then you're not, you know, going to be used by God. No. Claim tonight a gift from the Holy Spirit. I want you to begin to meditate. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray and fast and seek God about Holy Spirit. Manifest the gift that you've given me. Manifest it. Lord, uh, uh, whatever it might be, the word of wisdom, the, 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 the word of knowledge, hallelujah. It's the same spirit. This is in 1 Corinthians 12 and 9. Uh, the gift of faith, it's, it come by the spirit. Another, the gift of healings, is by the same spirit. Come on, y'all. Amen. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To understand who in your presence. How many know that's a good gift? That people are so able to uh, paint themselves as angels of light. But in reality, they, they are wolves in sheep's clothing. And the gift of the word of discernment, the spirit that discerns what spirit it is that's talking to you. Who's in your presence. Amen. So I don't want you to get, you know, uh, uh, offended tonight. But I want you to begin to seek for miracles. Because Christmas is all about miracles. Christmas is about the greatest miracle that ever happened to humanity. Oh yeah. It is a time for us. All of us. How many of you can say, I've been born again. This is not foreign to me. Amen. The Bible said the world can't comprehend this. Don't even try to convince them. Tell them like Jesus told old Nicodemus. Oh, Nick, you got to be born again in order to enter the kingdom of God. You know, he said they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Huh? Amen. What's happening? We have come to analytical. We've become to uh, 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 natural, cyn you know, uh, cynical. We, 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 we too much involved with these things that make the Holy Spirit foreign to us. Just go ahead and let the Holy Spirit uh, bless your Christmas. Go ahead and let him perform a miracle because he's still working miracles. He haven't taken the gifts back. He said one day all this stuff is going to cease, but I'm a living witness that hasn't ceased yet because I'm still here. I'm a living witness that I'm a miracle. That God performed a miracle. It was so close to my physical uh, departure. Uh huh. My, my spirit was at, at the point of leaving my body. This is what the doctors told my family. That it was touch and go. And that I needed, hey, something to happen. And my, 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 hey, my family began to pray. My family and the saints began to pray. And ask the Lord to have his way. Hey, hallelujah. And so the Lord, by his spirit, entered the intensive care unit at OSF. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, is still making calls, hallelujah, to the hospital. To the intensive care units. Come on. And if you'll go to the hospital. He'll go to your house. And my house. Come on y'all. He'll go to our churches. And he'll go to our government. Come on. He'll go to our school houses. Amen. He still comes. And he'll talk to husbands. And he'll talk to wives. And he'll talk to children. Amen. See what's happening. We have lost uh, without nobody being offended, a lot of us have lost our confidence in God. We've lost our, our belief. you got to shut the devil out of your thinking. Cast down every imagination and every high thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. you got to cast it down. you got to get rid of it. you got to tell it to go. Uh-huh, spirit of doubt and unbelief. I don't know about you, 
But I believe the report of the Lord. That's why I'm sitting here. Amen. As sick as I was, I was still believing God could raise me up. Before I lost my consciousness, my prayer was, I believe you, God, that you can give me more time. I just believe, God, you can let me uh, stay uh, with my uh, pretty little wife and, and my wonderful son and wonderful daughters. Amen. I just believe you can let me have more time with my grandbabies. You can let me preach some more. Going in and out of the hospitals and nursing homes and jail houses and, and wherever you would send me. That I can still hold the hands of those in bereavements. Amen. Hallelujah. My time is about up. But I want to say a special prayer tonight for Brenda Rose and the Rose family. Because uh, God still works miracles. And we know we had a bow to God's perfect will concerning Elder George Rose. But my faith. Is not shaken. Oh yeah. I heard his son. That his dad was already. 15 years longer. Than what they had already diagnosed him with. He was his own. Uh, Hezekiah. Huh? Amen. And I don't have no doubt. God could have kept Elder Rose here. If that's what his perfect will was. That's what we prayed. But now tonight. We want to pray. That everybody will say yes Lord. That we can trust you. With Elder George Rose. We can trust you. That Lord you know what's best. And you don't make no mistakes. And you have already preordained. Amen. Our lives. And I know Elder Rose. Uh, as a friend. A childhood friend. And then a part of leadership for 31 years. At New Life Church of Faith. He was a giant. He didn't think he was because he was humble. He just did what he did. And he would always say, as his uh, brother, Pastor Dennis Rose said at this homegoing celebration today, uh, what the Spirit say? Hey, come on, y'all. That's what we need. We need to hear from heaven. We need to pray uh, until we get a word from God. How do we get a word from God? We get it through the Holy Spirit. We don't get it. Through intellect. We get it through the Holy Spirit. And that's why there's so many folks fighting against the Holy Spirit. Religious men and women fighting against the Holy Spirit because you can't contain it. It do what it do and you can't explain it. Amen. But I'm learning to trust in God. huh? I'm learning not to lean to my own understanding. But trust the Lord with our whole hearts. So tonight, Father, we lift up Sister Brenda Rose, we lift up uh, George Jr., we lift up Brother Chris Rose and, 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 and Brother Brian Rose and, and, and Sister Ashley. We lift up to you the entire siblings, all of George Rose's sisters and his brothers and everybody. Hallelujah in the Rose family, all them grandbabies. Hallelujah. We lift them up and we ask the Holy Spirit. The one you said, Jesus, you were going to pray that the Father would send us the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he would comfort us. And he would abide with us always. Let the Rose family feel the presence of God even on tonight. Yet they're not alone. Amen. Their loved one has taken his flight. Amen. And he's in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And he's not suffering anymore. He's not sick uh, you know, bound by any diseases. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank God tonight for the Rose family, especially for my good friend, Elder George Rose. And at the time he allowed him to be a part of my life, to be a part of new life. Bless all bereaved families tonight. Comfort them all over this great America. All the families that have lost loved ones to this covert. All the ones that have lost loved ones to mishaps and accidents and other things that have caused them not to be with them any longer. Lord, tonight, send your spirit. Amen. God, give miracles on tonight. Let men and women experience miracles even on tonight. And Father, I thank you and I praise you and I give you the glory and I give you the honor in Jesus' name. I want to wish everybody Merry Christmas. Amen. Take it to heart tonight. That you can have a Merry Christmas when you understand the original purpose of Christmas was that God, through the Holy Spirit, sent His Son Jesus. And that He came to save us 
from our sins. Amen. God bless you tonight. I'm going to share a little more uh, Christmas morning, 10 o'clock a.m. Amen. We're going to do it uh, through the web page, New Life Church of Faith web page. And come to the building. You can just be right there in your home in your pajamas. And you can just be enjoying uh, your family. But tune in. I'm going to share a little bit more. Amen. About the miracle man, Jesus. And, and, uh, and how we celebrate Christmas. Huh? Amen. That's what's going to happen Christmas morning, December the 25th, 10 a.m. Central Time. Amen. We want you to tune in uh, to Saturday morning. Amen. That's the day after Christmas at 7 a.m. Go on our webpage for morning glory. Amen. 7 a.m. We're going to get out of them nice warm beds. And that Allah about see, hey, and we're going to begin to intercede. Amen. We're going to be those that are standing in the gap. And we're going to be praying for all situations that need prayer. That's Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Morning glory. I want to say this as I'm getting ready to sign off. It's been the pattern of my computer to somehow lose signal uh, in the middle of the message, uh, you know, somewhere during the, pro the broadcast. And so I'm going to uh, not be gone. I'm going to get right back on. I'm going to re, you know, boot my computer and it takes, you know, a minute or two and then I'll be back on. So if that happens next week, I plan to be your uh, Bible study teacher again next uh, Wednesday. Amen. And so I want you to tune in. But if I lose my signal, don't just go to watching uh, Gone with the Wind and, and all that other stuff and, and getting on Facebook. Wait a second or two and see if I'm still there, if I've come back to you. Amen. God bless you again. Merry Christmas to all of you and that the Lord bless you real good and that the Lord smile upon you and that the Lord give you peace and keep you in his care. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Jesus name.